Now to more developing news this morning. We're learning about new details about what led up to a 12 year old boy being stabbed at a McDonald's in downtown Pittsburgh. This happened yesterday afternoon and we just got the court documents. We've been looking through them overnight and they do identify this man as the suspect Charles Turner. Police say he stabbed the child in the neck. He faces several charges, including attempted homicide. Now he's in the Allegheny County Jail. Our Lori Hoy is live outside the jail this morning and Lori, a lot of people People actually saw this happen. So what are they telling police about what happened here? Yeah, that's right, Alyssa. According to this criminal complaint, witnesses told police that Charles Turner was combative and hostile. We checked court records and we found that Turner has a long criminal history. It was around two o'clock Saturday afternoon when Pittsburgh police tell us a family of four went inside this busy McDonald's on Liberty Avenue. He was with his family. He was standing in line. Uh, they had just zipped in for one quick thing. Court documents say while standing in line to order, this man, Charles Turner, tackled the 12 year old boy from behind. Family members immediately tried to get Turner off the child and struggled to restrain him. As one family member helped the injured boy, another continued to hold Turner down. Turner pushed back, biting him and causing him to bleed. There's no indication that the victim and the suspect in this case knew each other. The criminal complaint says family members tried to question Turner. Turner told them he only wanted to finish his coffee and then leave the restaurant. After the attack, Turner went outside, pacing back and forth and yelling racial slurs. Two McDonald's employees uh, did try to intervene and, and, and help, the, help the child um, and, uh, and, you know, police and, and uh, uh, EMS arrived on the scene. We're told the child was taken to Children's Hospital in critical condition and this morning has been upgraded to stable. During the investigation, police recovered a box cutter at the scene. Police also say Turner punched and kicked officers while shouting names such as white devils and rapists. Police don't know if Turner was under the influence or not. We looked into Turner's criminal history, and this isn't the first aggravated assault charge. In fact, if you go back to 2005, his record lists at least 10 previous assault charges. Now, Turner now faces a number of charges, including attempted homicide. Reporting live from outside of the jail, Lori Hoy, Channel 11 News.